Opening. What if you had invested $1,000 in A-Arm in September 2023? Imagine for a moment that you decided to invest $1,000 in ARM when it debuted on the NASDAQ in September 2023. Fast forward to today, March 2024, and you'd find your investment has more than doubled, now worth $2,627. That's a whopping 163% increase in only half a year. What lies beneath this remarkable growth? Is it merely a stroke of luck, or does it stem from a robust business strategy? In today's rapidly evolving landscape, particularly with the burgeoning demand for AI chips, ARM's role is increasingly pivotal. To answer these questions, we'll need to dive deep into the financials and business performance of ARM, so prepare to join us on a journey as we unravel the numbers, explore the strategies, and dissect the financial health of ARM. From revenue analysis to profit margins, and from assets and liabilities to cash flow, we'll cover it all. Closing. Join us as we delve into the financial analysis of ARM. Let's dive deep into ARM's revenue. The company experienced a significant growth spurt between 2022 and 2023. During the three quarters of 2023, ARM's revenue was around $2.3 billion, marking a 15% growth compared to the same period in 2022 when it was about $2 billion. A closer look at the company's revenue sources reveals a balanced mix. Around 43% of the revenue was generated from licensing and other related areas, while the remaining 57% came from royalties. Now, let's turn our attention to the geographical distribution of ARM's revenue. The United States led the pack, contributing a substantial 43% of the total revenue. China came in second, accounting for 22%. Taiwan followed closely, contributing 17%. The Republic of Korea added 7%, with the remaining 10% coming from other regions around the globe. What does this tell us? Well, ARM's revenue sources are not only diverse in terms of what they actually do, but also where they do it. This geographical diversity is a significant advantage. It allows ARM to tap into different markets, spread its risks, and not rely heavily on any single economy. On top of that, the company's balanced revenue mix between licensing and royalties indicates a healthy business model. Licensing provides a steady stream of revenue, while royalties, often linked to the performance of ARM's technologies in the market, offer potential for growth. In essence, ARM's revenue analysis paints a picture of a company with a robust and diverse revenue base. This diversity, both in terms of revenue sources and geographical distribution, is a strong indicator of the company's growth potential and its ability to weather economic shifts. Profit margin is a vital marker of financial health. And in the case of ARM, it's a complex tale of strategic investment and long-term planning. So let's dive in, starting with the gross profit margin. In both 2022 and 2023, ARM maintained a steady gross profit margin of 96%. This consistency is a testament to ARM's ability to effectively manage its direct costs of producing the services it sells. But as we shift our focus to the net profit margin, the narrative changes. In 2023, ARM reported a net profit margin of just 3%, a stark contrast to the 24% reported in the previous year. This significant decrease might initially raise some red flags, but to understand the full story, we need to delve into the reasons behind this change. The lower net profit margin in 2023 can be attributed to increased spending in research and development R&D, and selling general and administrative SG&A expenses. In fact, the R&D to revenue ratio in 2023 was 61%, up from 39% in 2022. Similarly, the SG&A to revenue ratio also saw a hike from 24% in 2022 to 30% in 2023. Now you might be wondering, why the sudden increase in expenses? Well, it's all part of ARM's strategy to secure its future. By pumping more funds into R&D, ARM is investing in its capacity to innovate, create new technologies, and secure its market position in the long run. And as for the increase in SG&A expenses, it's a sign of ARM's commitment to growing its operations and expanding its market reach. So while the decrease in ARM's net profit margin may seem concerning at first glance, it's important to remember that it's a result of strategic decisions aimed at fueling long-term growth. The increase in R&D and SG&A expenses indicates ARM's focus on long-term growth. And with this approach, ARM is making a clear statement. It's playing for keeps, and it's playing to win. A company's assets and liabilities paint a clear picture of its financial standing. 
In the case of Aram, the total assets in 2023 amounted to $7.1 billion, which marked a slight increase from the $6.9 billion recorded in 2022. This increase in total assets signifies an expansion in the resources that the company has at its disposal to generate revenue. Net assets on the other hand, reflect the company's value after subtracting total liabilities from total assets. In 2023, ARM had net assets valued at $5 billion, a notable increase from the $4 billion recorded in the previous year. This increase in net assets can be viewed as a positive sign, indicating that the company's financial health has improved over the year. Another metric that provides insight into a company's financial health is the equity to total assets ratio. In 2023, this ratio stood at 70% for ARM, compared to 59% in 2022. This increase suggests that the company has a higher proportion of assets financed by shareholders, which is generally seen as a good sign by investors. Next, let's discuss the current ratio, which is a liquidity ratio that measures a company's ability to pay off its short-term liabilities with its short-term assets. For both 2023 and 2022, ARM's current ratio was 0.49. This ratio being less than 1, indicates that the company's short-term liabilities exceed its short-term assets, which might raise concerns about its ability to meet its short-term obligations. However, it's crucial to note that a low current ratio does not necessarily signify financial distress. Different industries have different norms, and tech companies like Arm often operate comfortably with lower current ratios due to their high cash generation capabilities and the nature of their business model. In conclusion, Arm's financial standing has shown significant improvement over the past year. While there are areas that require attention, such as the current ratio, the overall picture suggests a company that is growing and strengthening its financial position. Let's consider Arm's cash flow and receivable days. Cash flow, in essence, is the movement of money in and out of a business. It's a vital indicator of a company's financial health. For Arm, in 2023, the operating cash flow was at $0.4 billion, a slight increase from the previous year's $0.3 billion. Now let's talk about free cash flow. This is the cash a company generates after accounting for capital expenditures. In Arm's case, their free cash flow in 2023 stood at $0.32 billion, compared to $0.25 billion in 2022. This shows a promising upward trend. Moving on to receivable days, this measures the average number of days that a company takes to collect payment after a sale has been made. A lower number is generally better as it indicates that the company collects its cash quicker. For ARM, their receivable days in 2023 were 106, a significant improvement from the previous year's 132 days. However, there's still scope to shorten this time frame to improve the cash flow further. Remember the quicker the cash comes in, the better it is for the business. It means they can reinvest that money back into the business sooner, fueling growth. Though there's room for improvement, ARM's cash flow scenario has certainly advanced. Finally, we will conduct a DuPont analysis. This analysis breaks down return on equity, or ROE, into three components, net profit margin, asset turnover, and equity multiplier. It's a valuable tool for understanding the financial health and performance of a company. For the year 2023, ARM's ROE was 2%, the net profit margin was 3%, the asset turnover was 0.43, and the equity multiplier was 1.42. In contrast, for the year 2022, ARM's ROE was a robust 16%, with a net profit margin of 24%, an asset turnover of 0.4, and an equity multiplier of 1.68. So, what does this mean? The decrease in ROE from 2022 to 2023 is primarily due to a drop in net profit margin, indicating that ARM became less profitable on each dollar of sales. However, the asset turnover ratio remained fairly stable, suggesting that ARM's efficiency in using its assets to generate sales didn't change significantly. The equity multiplier decreased, meaning that ARM relied less on debt to finance its assets in 2023. Overall, the DuPont analysis offers a comprehensive view of ARM's financial performance. It provides insights into how the company's profitability, asset management, and financial leverage have changed over time. The DuPont analysis reveals ARM's financial performance in a comprehensive manner. Let's summarize the key points of our analysis. ARM's revenue growth has been impressive, with a 15% increase from the previous year. 
The company's profit margins, however, have been affected by increased costs in research and development and sales, general and administrative expenses, leading to a significant decrease in net profits. Despite this, ARM's total assets and net assets have seen a positive growth. This reflects the company's stability and strength in financial management. However, with the ever-increasing demand for artificial intelligence AI chips, ARM's position becomes increasingly important and enhanced. Their current ratio and receivable days indicate there is still room for improvement in payment capabilities and cash flow management, although their operating cash flow has shown a strong increase. The DuPont analysis reveals a decrease in return on equity, mainly due to the lower net profit margin. All these factors contribute to the immense potential arm holds for future profit generation. Remember to subscribe for more insightful financial analyses. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know which company you'd like us to analyze next.